Welcome back, guys. This is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. I am your host, SK Gitunga. Thank you for joining. Today, we're talking about love affairs, which takes us to our next question. How do you apologize in a relationship? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, I'll just apologize. Yeah, communication. Communication is key. And, and prepare something that he likes. Yeah. Uh, so where I live, I'm based uh, from a Christian background. Yeah. So a lot of things I normally do are based on scriptures, biblical scriptures. But in the secular system, I believe just having a one-two talk, live and direct, and uh, the thing that matters most in uh, apologizing is the truth. Because if there's no truth yet, it's it's all in vain. You may try to apologize, but the person you're apologizing to does not feel any truth and sincerity in you. So if you're doing any apologies to your partner concerning whether you've cheated or lying, you must have truth and sincerity in it, and it must come from all of you. You know, yeah, you don't have to force too much issues. It's just have the truth and sincerity, and yeah, it will come through. And just make a way in which the person you're having a relationship with will have a way in which she can trust you, she or he can trust you better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I was saying, eh, first, you, after you have a, an argument, you give her time so that it doesn't look like it was intentional, you had planned. Eh? Yeah, so then after that, you can call or even ask her, of which sometimes it won't come in that easy. So, or even you can be creative, you go to a place, yeah, and then you you can present yourself. And now this is what you happened. She has she even developed some conclusions. So you have to listen to her. Maybe sometimes you are too conclusive. Maybe you are too argumentative. So then from there you tell her this because I care. Yeah, after all we wouldn't have quarrelled if at all. I wasn't caring. So yeah, that's how I apologize. Then from there we can go out. Yeah, I feel like the best way to apologize is by. Okay, there are people with different types of uh, apologies. So I can say, for example, myself, I'd make sure that I get you something that is quite sentimental to you, a gift that you'll cherish. You know, everybody receives necklaces, everybody receives earrings, but we want something that you'd remember. So maybe you mentioned something in the past, and I'm like, yeah, let me get her this, because I know when I do this to her, or I give this to her, she's going to feel better and it's something that she's wanted so if you mention to me like let's say you wanted a phone i can get you a phone because i know you really wanted a phone and i've wronged you so i'd get you something that you want because at least you appreciate it better apologize it depends on what happened to me if just uh, uh, he's not happy or uh, not satisfied maybe by gifts or uh, in some special day uh, maybe invite my partner to go out uh, for a dinner or uh, give, give her some surprise. I love her to give TV, I'm cherish Kiasi. I'm going to ask her 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 to Then we admit. I'm sorry. Oh, Nanza Kufe Kulia. And Tafe Kulia. And you apologize. And you forgive before you apologize. Just communication. Just communication. Go out, talk to them, have a conversation, and be upfront. Just communicate and ask for forgiveness as upfront as you would as you'd have with an adult, with your parent or teacher. Just being communicated with them eye to eye, eye to eye, in person. Yeah. I guess uh, if I'm wrong, I'll look for him and then we'll talk it out and then I'll make an apology. Maybe treat him out or something, like have the money or something, yeah. I'll take him out and maybe make a sketch of him drawing. He loves my drawings. Yeah, I'll just draw him. Unajua kitu inaitua apology na kitu inaitua kusei saying sorry kwa muda mrefu ama muda mchache watu uona ni vigumu kusema pole. Sasa mimi ningesema hiyo jina I'm sorry watu wengi uona ni kubwa sana na ni two letters. Watu wapende kusema I'm sorry na kukubali makosa. Kuna kitu inaitwa ego. 
Igo ni kiburi ambayo mtu anaona ko entitled to. Haizi sema haizi kubali amekosea. Biblia yenyewe inasema no one is perfect. Ukijipata umefanya jambo na umeona umekosea, nyenyekea na useme pole. Na we mwenyewe kwanza kuwe mtu wa kusameheana. Ndiyo pia we ukikosea siku moja utasamehewa. Isikuwe ni mtu moja, yani side moja. This varies with different people, but personally how I do apologize to my partner, I am a gifter, so I'll probably just get him something I know he likes and um, obviously apologize and I'll make sure it's going to be in person, not via text. How I'd like someone to apologize to me, um, since I'm a gifter, also get me something that I love. Um, get me white chocolates, flowers and lots of money. Which takes us to our last question. What's your love language? Let me know in the comment section at Y254 and finish. Kusema kweli mimi bado sijajua love language yangu. Mimi ni ngali mchanga niko University of Nairobi 5th year. Bado na learn, ndakuja mbeleni nitajua my love, love language. Na pia nitauliza marafiki zangu maybe waneza niambia. Lakini kwa sasa sijui food. Eh, alafu nifanye nisikie vizuri. Lazima. Necessity. <laughs> Eh, yeah, wezi ni, wezi, like, lazima you treat me nice, no, ni feel like, yes, I'm there. <laughs> the food, definitely number one. Well, uh, okay. Can I just say touch, physical touch? Yeah, because uh, a lot of people I interact with, we normally find ourselves katuna chapana, just as a, not seriously. Yes, yeah, so I, I believe it's physical touch on my, pers on my side, yeah. Gifts? Kwenda walk. Yeah, money. <laughs> Gifts. Attention, time. Love language ni kutriti wapua and ku feel comfortable. I think ni kutriti wapua. Mtu ki kutriti wapua na feeling ya CPSR, CPSR. Yeah. I think all the things that are related to the love language depends on what time. Yeah. For example, maybe in the on the birthday, I think the gifts and the, some uh, warm words will be will be the one will be the love language at that time. Yeah, I can say words of affirmation. Yeah, because I have a way with my words, so I just <laughs> talk to you, have a brief convo, and I feel like yeah, you'd you'd fold after that because I'd make sure that you, you know. I'll raise you up again. It's like we just met, so I just start raising you up. So I feel like it's words of affirmation and also giving of gifts because I like appreciating my partner. So if you're my partner, maybe wake up in the morning, get for you flowers, maybe get for you a necklace just because I'm trying to appreciate you for being in my life. So yeah. to give TV, ice cream. To pizza, even I'm tembeza, tembeza. Uh, even though two wish in a It's a big cliche. I took a test like a couple of weeks ago. It was physical touch. I think for, for every other guy in a robe, it's just physical touch for most people. It's a big cliche, but yeah, physical touch. Um, all the five love languages. Yeah. And a food. Let's go eat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. All love languages are my love languages. I don't want 50-50, I don't want the bare minimum. Be it acts of service, be it physical touch, words of affirmation, I want everything. And my personal favorite, money. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the crew behind me, Brenda, Ngina, Kevin, everyone who took their precious time to watch this show. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.